As China intensifies its efforts to reach out to the rest of the world, more and more people in the West are developing an interest in Chinese culture. At the China Institute in New York, a place that specializes in Chinese cultural exhibitions, visitor numbers have been steadily rising in the last few years. But this increasing passion is not only local to New York, it is quickly spreading across the country. Fifty miles south of the Institute, delegates from all around the country gather at Princeton University's Tang Center to spend a day discussing the current exhibition at the Institute. Established nine years ago, the Tang Center was set up to advance the understanding of East Asian art and culture and has been a growing success. Professor Jerome Silbergeld, director of Princeton's Tang Center for East Asian Art, explains what the event is all about. Yes, this is a symposium in conjunction with an exhibition that is currently being held in New York City at the China Institute in America. And the exhibition is Zhongguo Renbun, uh, Humanism in China, a photographic record. And that is an exhibition of 100 photographs that come from the Guangdong Meishiguan or the Guangdong Museum of Fine Art. Um, because they did not regularly tend to hold symposia there, uh, we're holding the symposium here at Princeton in conjunction with that exhibition. And so that brings together uh, participants from all over the United States and Asia and an audience that comes from New York and Princeton and people coming in from um, all over the East Coast especially. Um, we put on a probably eight to ten major events in every given year, many of which turn into publications. We currently have about seven or eight publications in production at this time. Back in New York, the Humanism Photographic Exhibition is open to the public and once again visitor numbers are strong. Local visitor Brett Wright explains what brought him to the Institute. I was attracted to the exhibit through an article in the New York Times talking about the recent uh, photography exposition that's being delivered here. Uh, first reaction in terms of the drive to be here is my wife is from China. Uh, we're planning our first trip back to visit the in-laws in Xi'an and Shanghai and Beijing. And we wanted to get a kind of an overview of life as it's developed throughout the last 20 years in China. With over 2,000 active members and growing interest in the Institute's activities, the staff are now worried that the premises can no longer cope with the increasing demand. This is DJ Clark in New York, USA, for China Daily.